Can someone please tell me why is no one talking about this new Jamaican spring sensation? She's faster than Tia and Tina Clayton, she's faster than Kevona Davis and she's even faster than Brianna Liston in the 100 meters. Alana Reid is seriously making her way to top level sprinting in Jamaica and she will be a serious force to contend with very soon. Recently at the Issa Boys and Girls Champs, Reid etched her name deep into Jamaica's track and field history. She raised the bar of sprinting never seen done by any other female Jamaican junior when she didn't only win the class 1 sprint double but she broke the meet record and Jamaica's national junior record in the process. That kid was acting way out of her league. Now, in the absence of her former teammate Brianna Liston and another close rival Tina Clayton who represented the dominant Edwin Allen High School, she was bound to make a mark at the championships but no one expected what was coming. Leading up to the championships, Alana was met with disappointment when she clashed with another Jamaican powerhouse, Serena Cole of Edwin Allen in the 100m character trials. She was beaten into second place by Cole, but it was a nail biting finish between the two, with Cole clocking 11.18 seconds and Reed followed with 11.24 seconds. Examining that race, we saw great potential in Reed, but we also saw where she messed up. If you look closely at Alana Reed at the start of the race, you will notice that she totally messed up coming out of the blocks. Almost right after starting, you can see her straightening up. She did not maintain a proper drive phase but even with that poor execution of the first part of the race, you can still see that she has a lot of potential and speed. Fast forward to the boys and girls champs 100 meters. She was again expected to meet with Serena Cole for yet another time but Cole was the strong favorite to win. Both Reed and Cole were set for a huge clash after they clocked 11.16 seconds and 11.17 respectively in the semi-finals. Now that would have been exciting but unfortunately Cole had to pull out due to an armstring injury. The 100 meter final kicked off and Alana Reed made no mistake this time. She flew out of the blocks majestically. From 50 meters in, it was clear that something special was bound to happen when she separated herself miles ahead of the rest of the field. She was literally flying when she obliterated Veronica Campbell Brown's 22 year old meet record. She sped across the finishing line in 10.92 seconds, the new Jamaica national junior record. This sensational run puts Alana in 11th place for the fastest Jamaican females ever. Most recently, Alana showed the world that she's no fluke when she left the speedy Adesha Hodge of the British Virgin Islands in the dust at the Puma East Coast International Showcase. This matchup was one of the most anticipated races since Carifta where the two were expected to clash over the 100 meters but it never came to fruition since Hodge never made it in time to the Bahamas for the competition. But it finally happened and Alana didn't fail to impress as she finished miles ahead of the speedy Hodge. In this 100 meter race, Alana clocked a sizzling 11.0 seconds which is her second fastest time with Hodge settling for second in 11.16 seconds. Alana Reed is one to watch for the future since she's already faster than most of the frequently talked about young Jamaican sprinters such as Tina Clayton and Brianna Liston and it's important to note that her technique is already really looking good. If she continues on this trajectory, she will be extremely dangerous.